Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. In this lab, we'll be configuring OSPF summarization, but this time we'll be summarizing external routes. The routes to be summarized are the RIP routes injected at R1 and propagated into the rest of the internetwork. So first, to see which routes are to be summarized, let's have a look at R4's routing table. On R4, show IP route OSPF shows you all the OSPF routes but since we're only interested in external routes let's do a show IP OSPF include E2 for the external routes we have a list of 8 slash 24 routes from the list we see that 192.168.00 slash 24 and 192.168.10 slash 24 and 192.168.10 2.0/24 as well as 192.168.3.0/24 may be summarized into one summary 192.168.0.0/22 we also see that 192.168.32.0/24 33.0/24 and 35.0/24 may be summarized into 192.168 dot 32 slash 22. Now we also know that with OSPF, IP filtering and summarization cannot take place just anywhere in the network. And to summarize external routes, we would have to configure the ASBR, since that's where the external routes are being injected. Now in network, the ASBR is router 1. On router 1, router OSPF one. And to summarize external routes, we would be using the summary address command. So summary, the IP address of the summary, 192.168.0.0. And now, should we use a mask or a white mask? Question mark. And we have to use a mask. So that's 255.255.252 for a slash 22.0. And for the other range, summary address. 192.168.32.0.255.255.252.0. That's a slash 22 as well. Now back on router 4, let's see the impacts of our configuration changes. Show IP route OSPF, including external 2. Right, so now we have successfully summarized the 8 subnets into two summary routes. Let's see if we still have end-to-end -end IP connectivity. Let's try to ping one of those RIP IPs. Ping 192.168.32.1. And that's still working even though we have summarized those subnets. And that's it. Thank you for watching.